rupees not mentioned means this we call it as number of shares for preference shares we don't calculate interest equal shares you are not paying anything nothing is there debenture you are supposed to pay interest preference shares you have to pay dividend for the earning divided by number of equity shares Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with your student first grade college, the temple of excellence. And now we are in the session 2 of your new topic that is called capital structure. The capital structure in the sense, in the previous session I have explained you what is about capital structure. Now, capital structure means like you have capital of equity, preference and debenture which is better and which will give you more earning per share eps earning per share normally you want 10 lakh you can go for equity normally you want 10 lakh you can half equity half debenture you need 10 lakh you can go for half debenture half preferences like this combination you can go for your capital now under capital structure what happens you have one format, easiest format. I have explained you already in your previous session. What is that format and how to do problem? Everything we will discuss in today's session. The agenda will be meaning, concept as well as problem. So we'll go to problem actually. Now, in this, we have combination of three. We have to do all three combination. All three are separate actually. It is not interrelated. Like we have alternative one, alternative two, alternative three. Alternative one, two and three, all three are different actually, not same. Alternative one, we have to do separately. Two, we have to do separately. And three, we have to do separately. We cannot take calculation of 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. Those kind of calculation will not do here. Everything is separated. Now, in this what happens? Alternative 1, alternative 2, alternative 3. I'll go from the beginning. MNC company has currently an equity capital consisting of 30,000 equity shares. See, this is very important. They have not mentioned value, rupees. Rupees not mentioned means this we call it as number of shares. If the rupee is not mentioned, we should consider that as number of shares. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, shares of rupees 100 is the management is planning another rupees 25 lakh. See, already they have 30,000 equity shares. Now, of rupees 100 each actually, now, the company required how much further money? Like, just assume that you are running a college. Now, you want to construct one more. Now, we are in a degree college. You want to start post-graduation. You need separate infrastructure or separate building for that. For that building, how much is required? 25 lakh. Just assumption. How much required? 25 lakh. How to get money 25 lakh? You have three alternatives. To get this 25 lakh, you can go for option one, you can go for option two, you can go for option three. All our calculation is on 25 lakh. Now, what is your alternative one? Alternative one is issue 25,000 equal shares of rupees 100 each. Option one. So, you can issue 25,000 shares, 100 each, you will get 25 lakh. Easiest one, option one. Option two, to issue 25,000, 6% debenture of 100 each. Again, your second option is what? 25,000 into 100, you will get 25 lakh. Option number two. Option number three. To issue 25,000 preference shares of rupees 100 each. So this 25 lakh you can take from equity shareholder, you can take from preference shareholder or you can go for debenture. Now remember 
If you go for equity, nothing has to be paid. If you go for debenture, you have to pay what? Interest. If you go for preferences, you have to pay dividend. This is very important. Equity shares, you are not paying anything. Nothing is there. Debenture, you are supposed to pay interest. Preferences, you have to pay dividend for that. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. These are the informations we have. Now, the company's EBIT earning before interest and tax is rupees 8 lakh. What is company's EBIT? 8 lakh. Assuming 50% tax. So, EBIT in the sense, if you invest 25 lakh in the new college, what will be your income? Your income will be 8 lakh. Up to this, hope you understood. Before we start problem, we should understand question. Now, so 30,000 equity shares already there. Along with that, we are going for one more equity, one more debenture, one more preferences. Now, these are the informations we have. Equity are existing one. Along with, we have debenture. Along with, we have preference shares. Now, capital structure. Capital structure. Now, how do we go for this? Like, first one will be EBIT. We'll write out what is your EBIT. As per this, your EBIT is 8 lakh. We should take it for all three. So your EBIT is 8 lakh. This is also 8 lakh. Now, what are the options we have? I'll write that options. So, first option, issue 25,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each. So, 25,000 equity shares of rupees 100 each. Now, 25,000 equity of rupees 100. 25 lakh, first option. Second, 6% debenture, 25,000 into 100. 6% debenture, 25,000 into 100. It will be 25 lakh. Hope you are clear. Yes. 25,000, 6% preferences of 100. 25,000, 6% preferences. Remember, 6%, it is 25 lakh. Clear? What is this 6%? This is interest. What is this 6%? This one is dividend. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, EBIT, we got 8 lakh, 8 lakh, and 8 lakh. Now, minus. So, minus your interest. Do we have interest for equity? No. Do we have interest for debenture? Yes. What is the value of debenture? 25 lakh. What is the percentage? 6%. Now, 25 lakh multiplied with 6%. Now, so what is the answer actually? 25 lakh into 6%, it will be 1,50,000. 1 lakh 50,000. 1 lakh 50,000. For preference shares, we don't calculate interest. Now, close this. 8 lakh minus this, 8 lakh only. This must be 6 lakh 50,000. This must be 8 lakh. This we call it as EBT, earning before tax. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, from this, we have to minus tax. What is the tax percentage? I'll go back to your answer. The tax percentage is 50, half actually. Now, so tax percent at 50, half means it will be 4 lakh. It will be like 3 lakh 25,000. This will be 4 lakh. So how did we calculate, see, 
सिक्स लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद फिफ्टी बाई हंड्रेड एट लैख मल्टीप्लाइड विद फिफ्टी बाई हंड्रेड होप योर क्लियर यस नाउ सो वी डन विथ ऑल दिस आई क्लोज दिस वन so 8 lakh minus 4 you got 4 lakh this minus this you got 3 lakh 25000 this will be 4 lakh now what is this this will be profit available to preference and equity shareholder profit available to preference as well as equity shareholder hope you are clear yes good up to this we have done do we have preference shareholders in this problem yes who is that preference shareholder this fellow we have to minus that now minus less dividend 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 is given to whom only for preference shareholder Daniel, Nil, and we have twenty-five lakh at six percent. We have twenty-five lakh at six percent. It will be one lakh fifty. I'll cross check once. Twenty-five lakh into six percent. Yes, it is one lakh fifty thousand. Now, this is one lakh fifty. Thousand. Now we'll see what is your profit for equity shareholder. Profit available to equity shareholder. Now we'll go back. Four lakh minus nil. It will be four lakh only. Three lakh twenty-five minus nil. It will be three lakh twenty-five thousand. Four lakh minus one lakh fifty. It will be like two lakh fifty thousand. Hope you are clear up to this. Clear? Yes. Now we're done with this. Now you got this is available to equity shareholder. Now what we are supposed to find out earning per share. earning per share we are supposed to find out earning per share how do we calculate this i'll show you your earning per share calculation is your total earning is 4 lakh divided by number of equity shares earning divided by number of equity Shares. Similarly, we have three lakh twenty five thousand. We have two lakh fifty thousand. These are the earnings you have. We don't know how much equity shares we have. Now, I'll go back to question. We had thirty thousand equity shares already. Already existing is how much? Thirty thousand. In the alternative one, we have twenty-five thousand more. Alternative two, no equity. Alternative three, no equity. We have to concentrate only on equity. I'll show you working note. Number of equity shareholder. Number of equity shareholder. Now. one will be existing another one will be new one will be existing another one will be new so this is alternative number 1 this is alternative number 2 this is alternative number 3 hope you are clear yes existing is how much We had thirty thousand already. It applies to all. Always remember, existing one will apply for all. Thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand. So we we'll don't go with value. We go with number of shares. Now 
this is done. Next, we'll go for new shares. So what about new shares like? First option, we have equity, 25,000. Second option, we don't have equity. Third option, we don't have equity. Only first option, we have 25,000. New is 25,000. Second option, nil. Third option, nil. Because we have debenture here, we have preferences. We don't have additional equity. Now, add these both 55,000. Total number of equity shareholder. If you add this, this will be 30,000. This will be 30,000. Hope you are clear. Number of equity 55,000, 30,000 and 30,000. Now I'll come back to this 55, 30, 30. In this 55,000. 30,000 and we have 30,000 in this. So what will be your earning per share? Your earning per share will be 4 lakh divided by 55,000. You will get 7.27. 7.27 per share. 3,25,000 divided by 30,000. You get 10.83. 10.83. Not percentage, per share actually. It is per share. 8.33 per share. Last one. 2,50,000 divided by 30,000. It will be 8.33 per share. Now tell me which option is better. Should you go for equity, preference or debenture? If you go for equity, you will get 7.27 per share. If you go for debenture, 10.83. If you go for equity, you will get 8.33. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your calculation. As per this, if you go for debenture, your earning per share will be more 10.83. You will get if you go for debenture. What will be your answer? You have to write that alternative 2 is better because the earning per share is more compared to alternative 1 and alternative Hope you are clear. Easiest one. So just you have to remember the calculation and format. Now I'll go back to all these slides. You can take screenshot. This will be your problem. Your solution part. And this is a continuation of your solution. And the right answer is 10.83 is a better option. So this is your number of equity shareholders, working note, calculation. Yes, this is all about your today's class. Hope you understood. So today's session is all about your capital structure problem. Please work out at home without seeing answer. Thank you.